Hey people, Supreme Bit here, and today is Minecraft episode 19, but it's not on my single player world. We're going to have a look at my old server. So this is spawn, big waterfall there, and this is where we built the first house. It's like wooden shack, couple floors, and it has a hot tub outside, yeah. And it even has like what was supposed to be a sort of a disco ball, but yeah, pretty cool. So this is our first house, pretty standard. Chest, couple of furnaces, ladder up, ladder down. Down here we've got some waste disposal. We've also got a couple of corridors that go to places that once existed but no longer do, due to some chunk clusterfuck thing that happened when my computer crashed when I was running the server. But yeah, that sucked, and it's actually getting night already, which is a bad thing, because now I need to make a bed, so I can go to sleep, and then continue the tour, because no one wants a tour in the dark when you can't see stuff. So I'm just going to spawn some wood, and spawn some wool, so I can make a bed quickly, and continue the tour. Gonna make three or four beds just in case. There's no beds on this server already because most of the stuff was well actually all the stuff was built before one point three and most of it was built before even one point two or even one point one. I mean this server was like alpha, early beta. So now I can continue. There's a mine shaft down there, but I'm not going to show you that, it's pretty standard. Here is Numberton Manor. This is Pipster Pew Pew's house. He's got some furnaces, some chests, some ladders up. He's got a double bed there. Of course, remember the beds weren't in the game yet, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Up here he's got a room, pretty lit up. Small stairs going up. He's got spires on each corner, it's pretty cool. You can go all the way to the top, but I'm not going to bother. So yeah, this is pretty much his house. He actually has an underground bit under here. It's got a farm in there. can't remember if it's cactus farm. I think it might be a cactus farm in there. But I'm not going down there because there's like TNT traps and stuff. So dying when there's a door on is pretty nub. This over here is Greg's first little house. Made out of clay and bricks. It says keep out, but screw that. I'm going to punch his crops. So he's got one of these bed things. Little plot of land out here. No idea what it's for. And this was a fireplace, but the wood no longer burns. So yeah, the wood has gone. And the empty fireplace now. I mean... I could easily put some never rack in there and light it, but oh yeah, that's St. Numberton on the right hand side there. We just saw it's just some wizard watery guy that Noximus and Pipster Pew Pew made. This is a big lava tower made out of mud with an elevator inside. Pretty cool how the elevator works. So I can just get off and this is Skyville. This was Noximus's last thing he did when he came on the server. He was building a sky platform and he was going to build a house up here made out of diamond blocks. But it was never finished. As you can see in the distance on the hills there's not many trees about. This is because most of the trees was, were on fire and I kind of cut down all the remaining wood because it looked awful. So now it's just a landscape without hardly any trees. I might, well, I would have replanted some but yeah. The reason why they set it on fire actually is because leaf decay wasn't on at that time and they wanted to get rid of the excess leaves without having to punch them all down so just burn them down. 
and the whole forest was on fire. But yeah, you've just seen the elevator in the mud tower fil f filled with lava. No, it's got lava on the outside. Over here used to be a quarry. But the quarry kind of got TNT'd and went a bit crazy. It's called the Gregaclism now. And this thing stretches quite far. It's got just random blocks everywhere, water pouring down. And I kind of like put glass all over the top here so you can still see down. But you don't have to like jump around down the bottom there. This is a pretty standard cactus farm. You break a block, it goes down the water, you can go to the end and collect it. Over this way we have my failed attempt at a London Underground sort of sign because it's supposed to be going down to a train station. Well it does go down to a train station. And this train station takes you to Big Castle and beyond to where my other two friends built. Here we've got a massive thing that says nubba -ba -ba -ba. They used to be surrounded by fire but the wood has burnt out now. And there's a big mud Minecraft man there. I built that just randomly. So yeah, this is the underground train station down here. I built the entire rail network. It could have been done better but you you got to learn from actually doing stuff. So yeah, it's even got signs that say mind the gap like in the London Underground. Even the white line which you're not supposed to cross when you're on the platform. So I'll go back up now and there's... I think there's one last thing to show you before the end of part one. In part two I'm going to try and get my two friends in to do the tour with me. I'm not sure if they will be up for it or not. But it'd be good for them to just talk about what they were building and stuff. So what I'm going to show you now is sort of underwater thing. I built an underwater tunnel that goes from here all the way to the big castle and beyond. It was originally just going to be a tunnel to an underwater sort of like base but I decided to build a massive tunnel network. As you can see in the distance there it goes for miles. Yeah it's pretty cool I thought. It goes under the sea and everything. It took ages and this was built before I decided to build the train station. So yeah. And that's m most of the stuff over this end of the server. There is a couple of little wooden shacks like out miles away, but they're not really fancy. They're just like eight by eight square houses, pretty lame, which I built. So that makes them lame. So that's pretty much it for the end of part one. So, yeah, I know they're not the greatest constructions in the world, but these are the days where I learned in play to play Minecraft. I mean, most of the stuff I did when I started is on here. But, yeah, tell me what you think, and leave a comment, subscribe, and part two I'll show you across this bridge, which goes to a couple of pixel art things, castle, and where my other friends built so I hope you enjoyed this first part of the tour and I will see you in the next video